let me introduce you to a solo player's roar. The Argentinian Puma, the largest predator in the entire Patagonia. A real fighter, one that goes for the throat despite the opposing size. A base made only for solo players, con los huevos tan grandes como los de alguien como Gonzalito Camacho. Strong as only your will can be. Doble techo de HQM. Double HQM roof, bro. 32 pepo solo para pasar por eso. With two roof bunkers for unfathomable rate costs that guarantee zero profit, east mobility, cheap starter, and plenty strong defense advantage points. Here is a brief demonstration of how the bunker works. The base starts with a very simple and cheap 1x1 with an added triangle. I remain on the stage usually until I pass its here to a workbench, having killed enough people with farm to upgrade. You can upgrade the base to stone, but remember to leave these three parts wood, since later we'll have to subside them to replace them with walls. When first upgrading, I start with the vertical entrance and our main quarters. Here this half hole with roofs that looks like honeycomb repeats itself twice. By the way, that stone roof doesn't go in there, I just used it to jump on top. I usually make it twig and destroy it, so don't hit it. I usually build two jump ups since the crouch jump base one is before obtaining ladder BP, but this also comes in handy for faster access for duos. From up here, we'll have a nice set of roof axes. and I can't express how many times this beatdown has saved me from campers. I usually upgrade my core to metal to force doors before even placing the honeycomb down. Once we worked our way up to this point, it's time to replace the wooden bits. My preferred weapon of choice, a good old machete. But of course, Jackhammer does the trick.
Once we place down the walls, I tend to pick up the tier 2 workbench to bring it upstairs and replace that slot with a sleeping bag. Also a small box here will really help you for mobility through the window frame. And now the most important part, placing the triangle that will allow this bunker to work. Next step after placing some garage doors would be to protect the neck of the puma with some honeycomb. Notice how after fully honeycomb, this thing packs three layers of it, making it impossible for radius to go through. Just take a look at this online raid footage. I think they're raiding for the bottom. Yeah, there's no- <laughs> After finishing the third layer of honeycomb, which I usually save for when I have a functioning compound, our base is going to be looking a little something like this. Deployables are completely up to your liking. I'm sure you're smarter than me and you can find a way to optimize space and storage even more, but for me, so far this has worked wonders. and I cannot express how crucial shotgun traps are on a design like this. I usually use traps based on the amount that I find around, but I would sincerely recommend to BP shotgun trap for the amount of times it has saved me from players going deep, dropping into my core and getting clapped by the traps. Here I usually put either a fridge or a large battery, it just depends how fast I can get a hold of a windmill and turrets. So usually a fridge also comes in handy for teas, berries and food in general. Once you reach the stage, if you're feeling itchy to take down the alley, this roof fills that necessity while also adding some defense points. Down. When it comes to compounds, there is a million different ways you can elaborate a proper gate. But for now, we could take this approach right here. With enough room to place auto turrets for the fence, large furnaces to keep that base up afloat, and a refinery to fuel your flame rates on the whole neighborhood. Your base now upgraded should be looking a little bit like this. And that is the whole design boys, I hope you guys liked it, please make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more of these, make sure to check my other videos, or just check out my Twitch where I, you know, use this base live. Leave me a comment in case you've used this base and you have any criticism to be able to, you know, turn it into even a better one. And I will see you on the next one guys, as always, have a good rust friends.